Are you struggling with your ad revenues remaining constant since years and you haven't seen any improvement in your ad manager revenue because you're just using Google AdSense or Google Ad Exchange? You have actually reached the you know saturation threshold and you're not seeing any improvement in your ad revenues. If this sounds right, you know this video is for you. Today I'll be unveiling five important hacks in this video tutorials that will get your ad revenues soaring. This is Param here. Welcome to my channel on Google Ad Manager. Let's get started with learning these five hacks in three, two, one, go. Number one choosing the right industry now if you have already created your website and it's been years like i've mentioned consider this tip in your next website and see results in terms of cpms so choosing the right industry is of utmost importance when it comes to advertising as well because it determines the demand that exists in the programmatic advertising so if you have reached a threshold wherein you are actually not going any further it might be related to the industry you have chosen now i will list down to you six important industries that you can consider for making content and this will ensure that your ad cpms are maximized so firstly it's finance and insurance so this industry has a cpm of anywhere between 5 to 15 dollars plus followed by travel and hospitality its cpms are from 3 to 10 dollars similarly healthcare and pharmaceuticals its cpms are also ranging from 3 to 10 dollars then we have retail and e-commerce its cpm are from one to eight dollars technology cpms are from two to ten dollars plus and similarly automotive are from two to ten dollars so the if the industry you have chosen is not amongst these don't worry guys but i wanted to share this opinion because industry matters a lot when it comes to cpms so create content what people are searching for that's the seo tip but the advertising tip is create content wherein advertisers are paying you the most so if you apply this your ad cpms would be maximized number two leverage open bidding and header bidding now if you have only implemented adsense and ad exchange and you're not introducing external exchanges competition to them via header bidding or open bidding your ad cpms are likely to remain stagnant so if you want to you know push the ad inventories to the next level it will happen if you introduce more competition by implementing open bidding and header bidding with regards to open bidding it is google's header bidding solution that is a server to server level header bidding solution that comes along with your own ad exchange account now if you are working with your reseller kindly work with them to enable open bidding for your network and this will ensure that there is more competition with your google ad exchange and your ad exchange cpms are being maximized now open bidding works but still it is within the google's ecosystem so i would recommend that you implement header bidding in addition to open bidding now by introducing header bidding you will put in more competition to both open bidding and google ad exchange now how do you implement header bidding again you have two choices either you can implement the pre-bid wrapper on your own if you got you know development expertise but the challenge here is you will have to manually reach out to the dsps and get yourself approved if you're facing challenges like these you can actually go in for a wrapper based solution now we provide a wrapper based solution for header bidding so if you need to check your eligibility for header bidding kindly comment in this video and we will let you know whether your website is eligible for our header bidding solution so it's a bare minimum eligibility of 50k page views so if you are near to that it is most likely that you will be approved with our header bidding solution number three improve viewability and ctr having the maximum viewability and ctr will ensure that your ad inventory's true potential is released and you are making the most of your ad inventory now how do we do that so i'll share you three important tips that are likely to improve your viewability and ctr so first place ads on the position your users are engaging the most so how do we do that 
I would recommend that you download a free tool that says Hotjar, implement it on your website. This can be done via either Tag Manager or a direct integration. After you do that, you will be able to see the user heat maps and recordings. This is one cool feature about this product. Once you do that, analyze your user's behavior and implement the ads in the positions where your users are engaging the most. So if you do that, your overall engagement of your website, your clicks of your website and your viewability of your website would be automatically improved. Now coming to the second point that is, you know, implement sticky banners. So sticky banners are specifically intended to improve the viewability because these banners stick on the screen. Now consider implementing a bottom sticky or a top sticky or you can also consider on making certain ad formats like your you know sidebar sticky as well or even your leaderboard sticky for a few seconds until the user scroll. So implementing sticky ads will improve your viewability. Number three, consider implementing interstitials. Now interstitials, I'm aware that they can be user intrusive, but I would recommend that you consider interstitials if you want to take your ad inventories, ad ECPM to the maximum. I recently implemented this for one of the publishers who wasn't skeptical with this and they encountered that there was a 30% uplift in their ad ECPMs and revenue with implementing interstitials. So yeah, they are actually uh, user intrusive, but yeah, if you want to make more money, they are likely to impact your ad ECPMs and are likely to, you know, help them soar. Number four, mastering pricing rules. Mastering pricing rules is of utmost importance if you want your ad inventories to potential. So identifying the critical segments on which you should imply the pricing and setting up the right pricing for these particular segments will ensure that you master your pricing rules and you ensure that you have set them optimally. I have already created two detailed video tutorials around this and I would share its link in the description below so you can follow along. If you get your pricing rules structure and pricing right, it can mean a revenue uplift of anywhere between 10 to 50 percent. So kindly check this these videos and ensure that your ad inventory's true potential is being unleashed. Number five, embrace outstream video. Now, outstream video ads are the ads that appear in line within your content and once users scroll through, they pop up along the side. Now, these ads again are user intrusive, but their overall revenue impact is great. Why? Because, you know, simply video ads perform well than the display ads and outstream video player gives you an opportunity to run video ads within your website because you know you do not have video content so that you can run video ads but with outstream video you get a video player within which you can run in stream ads and these are a great source of cpm now i recently implemented them for one of my publishers and this led them to their revenues being 1.5x so outstream video is a great addition to your ad inventory stack and i would definitely recommend that you consider them these are the top five hacks that i implement for all my publishers and i have seen their ad revenues becoming two to three x so i'll be sharing case studies with you soon of how i actually implemented all of these and ensured that my publishers revenues soared if you are considering becoming an ad manager expert, kindly, you know, see my this playlist on Google ad manager and I've created detailed video tutorials to ensure that you become an ad manager expert and are able to take your ad monetization to the next level. 